Welcome back to segment two of the Bible says this, what say you, Psalms 33 verse four, the A clause says, for the word of the Lord is right. Now, I just finished talking to you about the work that we do here at the upper room when it comes down to making sure little children eat, elderly uh, uh, people and, and uh, young men and young women. You know, people who, when people get laid off, different things happen, people go through and people need help. And uh, I, we do not advertise this often at the church, but I learned that uh, there are those who, because we don't put it on television and we don't uh, post it on the website as much and we say very little about it, there are those who assume that we're not doing it. And uh, so I wanted to address this part of the ministry because it is a part of the ministry. Jesus fed the hungry. James writes about feeding the hungry. John writes about feeding the hungry. All throughout the Bible, uh, we, we're, we're to help those who are down and out. And our Lord says, as we've done it unto the least of these, says our Lord, he says, you've done it unto me. Well, today, one of the mighty women of God, one of the heroines of our faith, I am a fan of this lady. I love the way she works because this woman of God practice, practices what I call rubber meets the road Christianity. Anybody can be sweet and lovely and smiling in a church service where they sit and just grin and, and cool out. And, but when you can get out there where people are, uh, of hungry people are doing without. Some are nice, some aren't so nice. Some are extremely uh, grateful. Some aren't as grateful as they ought to be. But whether they're nice or not, grateful or not, whether it's cold outside, the sun can be shining, the rain can be falling, whatever, this woman of God, Evangelist Marilyn Wagner, is, is getting the job done. People go to sleep at night on full stomachs because of the work that this woman of God does here at the upper room. One of my best members, extremely high impact, zero maintenance, Marilyn Wagner. God bless you, Pastor. <laughs> I'm excited. Can you tell? I am too. Oh my. Now listen, I want Mar you've heard from me. I want Marilyn to talk to you and just tell you of what we do here. And I, I'm hoping, that, you know, those churches that are doing more, God bless you. And those who are not involved, get involved because people need our help. Marilyn, talk to us. I want you to talk to our audience there. What's going on? What do we tell, tell the people about this aspect of Upper Room? Well, praise God, Pastor. We are glad to be with you on this morning. Upper Room is doing a lot in the community, not just for our church and not just in our community. Yes, ma'am. We are out there. We're in basically all over North Carolina. Wow. Really. Wow. Uh, we give out once a month, uh, one major day, which is on a Saturday. It's always the second Saturday in the month. Mm -hmm. And our time is from 10 to 12. Mm -hmm. We think and praise God about 7 o'clock, you will see people out in our parking lot waiting for the doors to open. Thank you, if Jesus. we shut down for whatever reason, there are a lot of people that are very, very disappointed. Right. So we try not to close, not unless we extremely have to. Yes, ma'am. The only time we do it is for inclement weather, the right. storming or ice or snow. Right. But we thank and praise God for the ministry here because we are feeding a lot of people. I'm proud to announce that on last year alone, we served about 350,000 people. Three, now, someone said to me, Pastor, did she really mean 3,000? 300. And 50,000. 350,000. Wow. wow. That's not including the emergency cases we get. We mm. occasionally get, no, not occasionally, we often get emergency cases. We get calls in the daytime uh, at night saying, I need food. Yes, ma'am. Not only just from our church, we get calls from the food bank. Yes, ma'am. Saying, can you service this person. Wow. We have displaced uh, veterans mm. that's uh, homeless or they may be in their home, uh, yes, apartment or somewhere. They need food. Yes. So we answer the call. Yes. yes. Not only do we answer in our zip code area, we go outside the area. Wow. Not wow. only do we just serve the people that come here to the church, mm. we are out there five to seven days a week. Lord Jesus. Dropping off food, taking foods to the homes. People that don't have transportation to get here. Yes, ma'am. We're out there. Mm. I thank and praise God for the staff, the team that we have working together. 
our truck. We have a U-Haul truck. <laughs> our truck is yes, out man. there six days a week. Wow, wow. Thank God for the Deacon Joe Morgan. Mm -hmm. He is always out there on that truck, picking up, carrying, delivering, whatever he have to do. Right now, he's, he's on his way to carry. I was thinking, he's probably out there now. He's so he's on his way, way to, to carry. carry. Yep. Yep. And we thank and praise God. And because of what we do, because of uh, the image that we have for our church of doing things in excellence. Yes. We have been taught to do things in excellence. God first. Yes, ma'am. And when we help, we don't look down on anybody. That's right. Our pastor That's taught right. us that we show, you know, people have pride, have pride about themselves. That's right. And we want them to feel that when That's they come right. here. That's we right. want them to feel, the only thing we want them to see is the love of God. Yes, ma'am. And I tell our volunteers, when we start, when we come together, the first thing we do, we pray. Hallelujah. We Praise pray God. together. Yes. Now, we cannot make them come in and pray. Right. But a lot of times, the people that's coming for help, mm -hmm. they want prayer. Glory, and we glory, thank and praise glory, God for that. Glory. They can hear us praying. They say, I felt that prayer. Praise thank the Lord. you for the prayer. Praise the Lord. Well, well, I have a question for you. Do they, before we would aid them, do they have to pray? No, they don't. Do they have to join the church? No, they don't. Do we have conversations like, well, we want you to join up room because if you don't join up room, we can't help you. No. We, we're just there to show the love of Christ. And to assist. Praise our carry on woman of God. And also, you know, a lot of time when people go to get um, food or whatever, they have to show ID, they right. have to do this and that. We don't do that. Right. The only thing we do, we do do an intake, and that's only to show accountability for the food that we get that's that comes right. in from that's other right. partners. That's right. And we thank and praise God for that uh, because this is what make it easy for us to do the things we do. We go and we pick up, we go to the food bank once a week mm -hmm. and we pick up. Mm -hmm. We have other resources that's calling us because they see what we are doing in mm. the community. They call us and say, okay, can you come and pick up? Wow. So Praise the Lord. this is why Praise we need our U-Haul yes, to go out yes, and pick up. Yes, ma'am. We're picking up mm. from two different supermarkets at least five days a week. Wow. See, so one, she's hitting one of the uh, su uh, one of the principles in, in Christianity, and that is the reward for good work. Right, is more work. <laughs> yes, it is. So, so we go to supermarkets. Yes. All right, and we go to uh, we have a, a bagel. A bugle bagel. Mm -hmm. We pick up there three days a week. Thank you so much for allowing us oh, to do yes. that. Oh, yes. We go to Lowe's Food in Cary. Wow. Four days a week. Yes, ma'am. We are at... Um, CVS mm. once a week, mm. and we thank and praise God for all mm. of the different agencies that have opened up to us. Yes, ma'am. And we yes, believe in God for God doing greater things. Uh, Pastor hit on about feeding uh, with the turkeys and the ham and stuff like. That. We're also catering to the babies. Oh my! We're getting praise formal. God. Praise the Lord. Baby food. Now, do, do we sell the baby oh, food? Oh, no, no, no. Do we sell anything? No, we don't sell anything. Praise God. Everything is free. Hallelujah. And so Hallelujah. we thank and praise Glory God because God. the Lord is answering our prayers. We said, Lord, we need to help the babies. Mm. We are warriors. We want mm. to keep, we want to save the babies. Hallelujah. Also, the Lord is blessing us with pampers. Thank you. That we can give to the mothers. Listen, They listen. can't afford to go out and buy pampers. That's right. That's right. Well, we have them here. Mm. Glory Not to God. Not only do we give out food, we give out water, we give out uh, juice. Anything that make life easier yes, that they don't have to go into the supermarkets to buy. And, 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 and let me tell you, with the work that this woman of God is speaking of, I never have to check with Sister Wagner, Evangelist Wagner and ask her, are we operating? I never have to say, hey, where are you? She's never missing in action. Her staff, these are some of the hardest working people. And hey, did I mention to you? That she's a volunteer. Th these are all volunteers who, who are, th they're more faithful than many people are who work full-time positions at major companies. They, they come out and th their reward is just seeing that smile on the face. And that, that mother who is struggling and her baby needs milk, you know, we fight. We fight for the life of the unborn. But guess what? Once the unborn is born, yes. then the born has to eat. That's right. And that mother who comes and, and she needs food for her child, thank God. God, for women of God and a staff like these people who will go down to the abortion clinic now and fight with us for the unborn, but then turn around 
and feed those who are alive and well. Sister, carry on. Amen. And we think, in, as Pastor was, the staff that we have working together, nobody, I think we all work full-time jobs. Yes, ma'am. And I think and praise God for our jobs working along with us to make it easier wow. so we can go Thank out you, and do the things Thank that we you, do. Jesus. Thank I you. especially give thanks to my job. Oh, I work my. for North Carolina Job Corps. Praise Thank the Lord. you for being with me, being patient Thank with you. me, Thank for you. me to do the job that I do here at my church. I think and praise God for my church because I believe in what my church is doing. Hallelujah. And because Hallelujah. of that, it's easy for me to go out mm. and do the job mm. that I do for the Lord because everybody cannot preach like Peter or preach like Paul. Right. We all can't go out in the, uh, the evangelist field. That's right. But we can show love That's by right. feeding That's the right. hungry. That's and right. not only do we do it on Saturdays. Right. We're here on Thursday nights. Listen. We're here on Tuesday nights. Yes, ma'am. We're here on Sunday. Mm -hmm. On Sundays, immediately after church, mm. we have the kitchen open wow. for a hot meal for our college students, anybody that's homeless, how, or anybody. How much do we charge for that hot meal? Nothing. Nothing. On Sundays? On Sundays. You mean to tell me uh, we, at, at Upper Room? At Upper Room. You know, people say, you know, they're all about money. Well. No, <laughs> we are not. I thank and praise God for the team that works. We have different ones to volunteer on occasionally on a Sunday. Mm. Immediately after service, after pastors say God first, they can come right over to the kitchen and have a hot <laughs> meal. If they cannot wow. sit, they can take it with them. Praise the Lord. Well, saints, you see, and this is one of the keys to being able to uh, raise revenue because people see their tithe and offerings at work. I've always said this. If the only evidence of the tithe and the offerings, if the only manifestation is the size of the preacher's car and the suit that he's wearing, and, uh, and, and his house, then there's something wrong with that. But when you can look around and see the grounds being kept, see the church being taken care of, and then to see this kind of work, people who are struggling, and as we mentioned, many of these people are not members of our church. Mm -hmm. and, and the college students, the, the, these are our leaders of tomorrow. We're investing in them hot meals. We're investing the word of God in them. And, and, and people in the community, whether they are members of the church or not we have teams going out bringing them food and then those who can come we give them the food with with a smile uh, again not at the expense of their of their dignity and self-worth because they are they are God's people they're just down for the moment and who of us haven't been down. Who of us haven't had to have someone to give us a hand up or a leg up? And, and listen, I pray to God that when we get lifted, we do not forget that someone else helped us when we were down. And what do you do? You, you turn around and you help someone else. I thank God for this woman of God. And my friends, I thank God for the upper room. Yes, we are known for preaching the word of the Lord. And yes, we preach in a manner that makes some people shout and glad mm -hmm. and make others fight and mad. But we're always preaching the truth. But what's, what's not known as much is the work that this woman of God does and others on the staff and this is just a portion of what we do to, to get the word out, to let people know that Jesus Christ is real, that Christianity is the only true way to heaven. Among the things that we do in terms of preaching the gospel, we also show love. We, 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 our goal is to be good Samaritans. Yes to help those who have fallen and to reach those who are down and out. Now, my friends, I want to encourage you. Every chance you get to help someone, do it. And every chance you get to support a ministry like this, a ministry where you, you can see your tithe and offerings at work, do so. And, and listen, give your arms in secret. If that neighbor is going through or that person is, is suffering, help them. I know many times they say that people you see the panhandlers on the side of the road, the people say they're going to buy drugs with the money, they're going to do this and that. But I'm going to tell you, I can't help it. There are times I let the wonder down and give an offering because my God is a giver. Living is giving and the essence of living is giving. Now, my friends, the Bible says this. What say you? <laughs>